be making basics. What's going on YouTube beat making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. Definitely is going to help out the content and the channel. But anyway, let's jump right in today's video. I'm going to be showing you how to make your own sound kits and sound banks using Apple loops and the quick sampler. Okay. So, um, in Logic Pro 10, if you're brand new to the software, there is something called the Quick Sampler. Um, how you actually um, get that going is go to and um, you're going to want to create a software instrument track. So we got software instrument track right here. And under instrument, you want to go ahead and select Quick Sampler Stereo. Okay. Now, uh, basically, with this Quick Sampler, you can pretty much drag and drop any sounds. Um, from your computer on to this um, sampler. It's super simple. Um, but let's look over here at the loops. So let's just say like, all right, you want to create your own like sound banks, okay? Um, what you could do is go over here to the top right screen, click on this loop, and then search certain instruments or certain genres or certain descriptors. So for the instruments let's say all right we want to get like our own piano sounds so what you could do here is find a piano sound that you like and so you just drag it over here to the quick sampler and then all you have to do here make sure you're in classic mode and then what you want to do is turn the loop off and then find a note that you want to put into your um, sample bank. Make sure you put a little fades on it just so it sounds smooth. And then also you can come over here, make sure it's doing the follow tempo option. And then when anywhere on I press on the keyboard, I'm just gonna go ahead and push up musical type musical typing. You'll see I have this sound here. And I could pretty much move this around to get the note that I actually like that I feel like will sound the best. We maybe grab this note. And I can also come in here and do certain things to it um, down here, basically do some sound design. All right, so basically after we got our note here, we're gonna come over here to the top left of this actual quick sampler and um, where it says factory default, you wanna to go to save as and you just give it a name, say piano, um, we'll say jazz piano note. Now, anytime that I wanna bring up that note, I can pretty much go ahead and create a new track, software instrument, quick sampler, and I can go back over here where it says factory default and all of the different sounds that I save within the quick sampler are going to be right here or I can load it up like this and then find it here. So like what did I do? Jazz piano note. Click on it and as you can see it pulls right up. So this is a pretty dope hack when it comes to like you know getting your samples up. You can come in here right with Logic's own Apple Loops and you know create some dope stuff here. So let's go to Simps.
See, like that right there, that can turn into some notes. Now, this is some, another way that you can actually drag anything into that quick sampler. If you're brand new, just take this and drag it over to this, this gray area and then go over here to the top where it says quick sampler original. Throw that in there. Make sure you're always going to that classic mode. That way you're able to come over here and get right where it needs to be. And this is gonna be something that can be in a beat, you know, make something dope. And we'll just keep on repeating this process here. Save as, name this like synth. Let me keep on going here. Um, and you kind of pretty much get where I'm going for, for with this. Uh, let's see here. So that's a hard, uh, sound right here. I can just drag this right over. And kill, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna turn off this loop. Perfect. So have that. Got the follow tempo on here. Playbacks going forward, no loop right here. If I wanted to, I can, you know, doctor this up some, but I'm gonna leave it just as. And then what I can do is do another save as and say, this is gonna be our um, pad choir note. Now, like when I wanna make some beats, I can come over here and just bring up the sound that I want. So I can come over here and do it two ways, do load or find it right here. So I'm gonna go to this pad choir note. make a whole beat out of that okay so basically want to give you that that tip y'all to like if you don't have resources or finances to get sounds um, as far as with logic and everything like that or if you have like third-party sounds and you want to make your own sound bank then this is how you do it okay so like I'll give you another example here let's say y'all go to my site and you grab um, the blue fire melody pack, right? And you're like, man, okay, I want to get this sample and have it like stored in logic pro 10. So what you'll do, take it and drag it on in and you can just chop up whatever part you want. Cool. So we got that. Um, I can pretty much go over here to save as and say, you know, now anytime I want to pull up that sample, I can pull it up. So just wanted to go over how you can, you know, basically build your own sound banks 
using Apple Loops. Also throwing in a little bit of extra value there. Like say if you grab one of my packs or you grab a pack from somewhere else or a kit, you can drag it in and save it that way. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.